patient had fever and tonsillar infections in few days with hyperkeratotic lesion the pathological question of the toxin uses which mechanism so if you see the clinical features here fever and tonsillar infection along with hyperkeratotic lesion which can be easily visible here this particular membrane and that this particular uh, whole clinical feature point towards a diagnosis of diphtheria now diphtheria there will be a toxin in the diphtheria and that is known as the diphtheria toxin and this particular toxin is a potent toxin actually it is a potent toxin that means it has a very small lethal dose so the lethal dose is small small lethal dose and the quantity is 0.1 microgram per kg now uh, it has a virulence faction the the factor uh, which causes the virulation actually and that is responsible for local effect and systemic complication right so there will be virulence factor that will be causing the local effect as well as systemic complication and this is basically coded by a gene that is known as tox gene very important for the exam point of view and this is basically beta phage encoded beta phage encoded gene now uh, who regulates the production of the toxin actually the toxin is regulated the production is basically regulated by iron levels so the iron levels regulate the production of toxin so when iron level is below or equal to 0.1 my milligram per liter then production of diphtherian toxoid is going to start so when iron level is less than or equal to 0.1 my, uh, milligram per liter then you'll have the diphtheria toxin that will keep multiplying or keep increasing okay now the toxin has two subunits the toxin is going to have two subunit one is a subunit and another is b subunit and these subunits have a molecular weight the molecular weight of the sub both subunits is 62000 da now we should know about the receptor for the uh, diphtheria toxin and these are the egf precursor okay there will be heparin binding epidermal growth factors which will be the precursor to precursors and these will be the receptor for dt so what are the receptors for these toxins the receptors are h b e g f precursors so this is nothing but the heparin binding epidermal growth factor heparin binding epidermal growth factor right all cells are susceptible to action of diphtheria toxide except very important cell and that is your rbc so rbc is not susceptible to the action of diphtheria toxoid that is very important again for your example and the high affinity of this particular diphtheria toxoid is or the toxin is seen in man m is your myocardium a is for adrenals n is for nerve endings so these are having more affinity for the diphtheria toxin or toxin right now i would be uh, discussing about the mechanism of action of this particular toxin which has been asked in this question also so first of all it is a receptor mediated endocytosis what happens actually there will be uh, inside the endosomes a subunit separates and this subunit enters inside the cytoplasm and this after entering into the uh, cytoplasm there will be ribosylation of ef2 right so there will be adp 
ribozylation ribozylation of ef epidermal factor 2 and this particular ribozylation leads to inhibition of protein so ultimately what is happening here it is hindering the formation of protein actually right uh, it is inhibiting the protein synthesis here right so the formation of protein from the uh, ribosomes is known as what it is known as the translation the process is known as the translation and this particular toxoid is basically inhibiting the protein synthesis and that's why it is inhibiting the translation for sure so the answer to this question should be 3 that is inhibition of translation occurs by the toxin in this particular infection